Well, hello there, campers. My name is Paul Hughes, the love lord of leisure, and welcome once again to the gaming love crash. Rawr. Yes, it's that most wonderful time of year where we piss away too much money pretending we care about the significant others in our lives. No, it's not Christmas. Let me give you a hint. It's that wonderful time of year where florists, card makers, and restaurants in particular want to make you feel guilty if you don't do anything. Yep, you guessed it. It's Valentine's Day, and up and down this lovely land of ours, and of course around the world. Couples prepare to sit across from each other, staring into each other's eyes, although probably just sitting in silence, probably eating some crappy pea soup that the kitchen just chucked out because it was Valentine's Day. <laughs> probably just planning a breakup if they're lucky. Mind you, it doesn't seem to be much fun if you're single at this time of year either. Mainly because you're made to feel like a complete leper from society. Everything's done in twos, isn't it? So some of us will end up just buying 10 tons of tissue paper from the pound shop and then proceed to pound ourselves away to various cultural classics from Red Tube. Failing that, you've got to haul yourself out at various pubs and nightclubs, trying to cop a feel to anyone who can still be classed as alive. Although it does seem that even if you're married, you can still hit the dating game as illustrated in this lovely advert. I'm looking for someone other than my wife Other than my wife Ashley Madison's right I'm looking for someone other than my wife yeah, after being exposed on all fronts by hackers and most of the broadcast news networks towards the end of last year, millions more were able to discover someone other than their wife with Ashley Madison. The site where the slogan is, Life is short, have an affair. Though probably for many, the lyrics of the Ashley Madison advert would have changed quite a bit. I've just been handed divorce papers from my wife. Papers from my wife. It's causing me strife. Everyone! I've just been handed divorce papers from a So while the internet in real life keeps on failing us, is there anything to learn about the art of dating within video games? Well, last year in one of the very first Gaming Car Crash live streams, we attempted to see what gaming had to teach us about the art of romance. First of all, by pretending to be a bloody bird and one of the crappiest excuses of a game ever made, hateful boyfriend. We then proceeded to get several girls hot under the colour by matching various coloured tiles together in the apparently banned from Twitch, Honey Pop. Finally, we attempted to perform surgery because the patient had a broken heart in Surgeon Simulator. Although, mind you, it was probably broken when people were forced to watch this shit in the first place. So after all that last year, what could possibly top all that? Ooh, hello kittens. I'm Kitty Powers, matchmaker extraordinaire. As we all know, the path to true love is long and hard. Yeah. Yes, your lives will never truly be the same again after witnessing the power of Kitty Powers as matchmaker, in which you manage your own matchmaking agency with the guidance of your fabulous boss, Kitty Powers, aka a bloke dressed as a woman. Well, it was either this or we played Honey Pop again. So before we go into the main event itself, that is Kitty Powers Matchmaker, what kind of powerhouse PC could you possibly expect it to run this epic beauty of epicness? Uh, seriously, that is a fucking disturbing pic picture right there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, if we go to the options menu, oh, it's so complicated in here. Lucky I have, <laughs> luckily I have minions with this kind of thing. I don't even know what what people where are you hi hiring these minions for and why can you not comprehend how little you actually have kitty powers look you can change the screen resolution make it full screen or not and then fiddle around with audio look that's it nothing else it's not that hard dear it's not that hard <laughs> or at least it's about to get harder Woof. as we play kitty powers matchmaker <laughs> Oh, 
Same-sex marriage is legal in this game. How refreshing! Welcome, Kitty. <laughs> My name's Kitty Powers, and I'm your new boss. Is it wrong to ogle the, the new boss? I, I'm just wondering. I mean, to be fair, look at the, the ankles. That's suggesting there's something going wrong down there, but everything else, I say, good lord. I better watch myself around, Kitty, to be sure. Your mission is to expand this sad little girl. It's with the music. It's, it's, it's potential. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like I should be drinking a martini while this and, and, and being in Saint Tropez or something? Do this <laughs> by finding love for as many clients. Yes, we need to we need to find love for as many people as possible. I honestly have no idea on what this, this is going started, where this is going to take, take us. This is exciting. Thing. It's the first time I'm doing this. <laughs> Hang on, he needs to take my particulars. I said now. Hello. Oh, right, okay, so Kitty wants to know about us. Now, for the purposes of being romantic and things, I'm gonna go with King Bob. King King Bob! And I think I should be portrayed as a male, and we'll have birthday of... I'm gonna go with Taurus the Bull, mainly because I'm talking a huge amount of bullshit. Gotta be fair. Give me all the and, gossip. Oh, hello. Oh, right, I say. We're, we're, we're basically filling out a questionnaire, darlings. Okay. So, what do we find the most attractive? I, I know I could find... Hmm. Should I, should I stick to men? Or, or both? I tell you what, for the purposes of this, we're going to be sourcing going both. And oh, we're not. We're not going to go for. Yeah, we're going to go for a brunette. We like brunettes. Yes, we do. Um, eyes, 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 eyes. We're going to go with green eyes. Yes, yes, we are. What type do you feel you relate to most? Okay, Kitty. Um, ooh, edgy, vintage, hippie, chic, party. What does she actually mean as party? I mean, look, they they just like painting what? Someone who does DIY, sporty, glam, geeky, or hip hipster because they drink out of a coffee mug with a moustache on. Like, hang on, sure. I'm pretty sure that there's some overlap on some of these, I've got to be fair. But what to choose, what to choose? I'm going to go with edgy. Uh, I'm going to go with... Oh, right, I see. Oh, alright, we get, we get little uh, descriptions up top here. So, edgy types love dark and alternative culture. They mostly come out at night, mostly. So, in fact, they're aliens who are basically going to burst from our chests. Well, we're not going to go for them. Mm. Vintage types love books, domesticity, and the old school approach. How do you do? How do you talk? Possible contender there. Uh -huh. Hippie! Hippie types love alternative therapies and communing with nature. Spread the love. No fucking way. Uh. Chic types are high achievers that love elegance, business, and class. Darling? Darling? I, I, I don't know what, what's going on there. <laughs> Party types love all forms of dark, uh, dark deep and meaningful, avant-garde creative expression. Fancy. Ooh. Practical types love functionality and are good with their hands. <laughs> I think, yeah, just keep make, just do, keep doing your own jokes. I think. <sighs> Sporty types are all about fitness, competition, and getting sweaty. <laughs> Okay, fine. Glam, glam, uh, glam types love bing, <laughs> bling, bling, bing, bing. Glam types love that search engine from Microsoft. Excess and celebrity-related stuff. Omg, oh, fuck off. That sounds absolutely atrocious. Who the hell would go for that kind of crap? Uh -huh. Geeky love science fiction, fantasy movies, and video games. Nerd. Uh Fuck you, Kitty. Fuck you. We are taking over the world, slowly but surely. If Marvel and DC um, have proven that, comics and geeky stuff are taking over the world. And frankly, video games are a multi-billion dollar industry now, so ha 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 ha! Joke's on you. Or rather, joke's on me, because I actually bought this bloody thing, you dick. Oh. Hipster types! Last one on the agenda. Eh, they love post postmodern irony boutique. 
business, startups, artists, and coffee and fa- No. No. So I think... Now that I know that this is... Uh, do I go vintage? Uh, edgy? No, they, they basically will uh, kill us, so no. We got, I'm going to go between vintage or geeky. Vintage or geeky. Vintage or geeky. I'm going to go with geeky. It's, it's, I, I think it suits King Gob. Uh, King Gob? King Bob. <laughs> this is going to go really well. Oh, dear. Like what would I like to look at? Jesus Christ, none of them. Bad. Let's, oh, okay. So we can just keep... Wheel of functionality. Turn, turn, turn. Tell us what look we should spurn. Oh, look at that. He, he's an evil bastard. And he's wearing a turtleneck and wearing glasses. So you know he has an evil underground lair. They don't look very kingy. Yeah, they're not King Bog material. Um, immediately yes. Absolute immediate yes. You want to probe <laughs> the innermost depths of your personality. So we are literally filling in uh, a complete questionnaire at this point, aren't we? So, okay. Let's press continue. Right, okay. When it comes to housework, do I get stuck in? Oh, or only clean for guests? Uh, no, I... 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 I I, I, I rarely clean. Seriously, you, you all have seen the flat in uh, various uh, gaming car crash videos. I, no, I don't clean the place. So next, if I, if I had to have a pet, would I rather a dog that needs lots of walks or a cat that just needs feeding? I'd rather have neither. I despise all pets. But, um, as I'm a lazy so-and-so, I am the Lord of Leisure, I'm going to go with a cat. Hmm. Right, next, a friend is doing a sponsored skydive. Um, do you join the f cop out? I'm sorry, that's not even a question. Do you want to willingly throw yourself out of a plane for a charity? No. When making flat pack furniture, we're on the organization now. Ooh, okay, once we get over it, it's, I sense some excitement building here. Oh, can you feel it? The music is really putting me off as well. <laughs> I always read the instructions first when I do flat packing. I've got to be honest, I do. You know, mainly because half the time... Well, seriously, even when it comes to Lego now, I, I don't even know what the hell I'm supposed to do. I have no imagination, I'm sorry. Continue. So, ooh, when going to the movies, do you prefer factual-based storylines or fantasy? Fantasy, you, you know. I'm sorry, Oscar bait. Factual based storylines, Oscar bait stuff. They didn't release them in January anyway. What are you supposed to do for the rest of the year? Hmm. Oh, and when you're on holiday, would you rather have an itinerary or take each day as it comes? Actually, we kind of like both. The first couple of days just mare out, then afterwards uh, start looking at something to do. Uh, we'll go with as it comes. It's the lazier answer for being the Lord of Pleasure. Or King Bob of Pleasure. Hmm. Okay, social. When you go on holiday, do you would you prefer a secluded highway or uh, highway? Yes, just <laughs> just be dumped in the middle of a road um, or a busy city with friends. Uh, city. Uh, or if I want to do naughty, it'd be hideaway. General stuff, city, naughty, hideaway. But that also. That's a very good question because I hate humanity and all human beings, so I'm going to stick with Hideaway, actually. I, I prefer to be in the Fortress of Solitude. That's, that's, that, I'm glad I thought about that. You know, it had, it, there was the need for careful consideration there, I believe. Yeah. It, you know, dating is a serious business. You've got to think about these things realistically. Given a choice of car, um, would you prefer... No, supercar. Sorry, flashy. It's worth more. You can trade it in. Duh. <sighs> at New Year's Eve, would you rather stay at home and read a book or spend it with friends and family? Neither. Neither. No. I. Well, mind you, I, I, I've stayed at home and just watched Jules Holland's Hoot Nanny or... Spent, ah, I suppose that's the cop-out thing. It's the, the pretend sociable thing, isn't it? It's, uh, 
When choosing a car, would you rather have a classic car or the latest model? Uh, if it's a... I'm gonna go with classic. Like the, the Ford Escort. It's a classic. <laughs> Vintage. In your kitchen, would you prefer gas stove or an induction ring? Gas. Everyone knows gas is better. <laughs> I, I have gas. <clears throat> When keeping in touch with friends, would you just call them on the phone? Or, well, well, it's kind of both. That's kind of rubbish. I'll go with that, because it's a lazier answer. Ah. The continue button refuses to work. When shopping in department stores, do you head for the home furnishings? Or... Neither. What kind of question is that? I'm going to go with underwear, because generally I have many holes in my underpants, and I need to always get them get more. Someone you fancies you, you, someone you fancy wants to come in for coffee. Do you clean the cap? I'm gonna be a filthy bastard and say clean your bed linen. <laughs> when you meet someone you fancy, would you? Ooh, I normally go with compliments. I gotta be honest, I normally go with compliments. Oh, there we go. Are you sure? Well, I know this is the point of no return. After all that, I am apparently King Bob who is relaxed, carefree, an extrovert, traditional, and spicy. And I like everyone <laughs> and that. But yeah, there we go. Your details onto your ID card. Yeah, and I get, an, I get an ID card, and apparently I have an average reputation. Okay, I wonder how that's gonna pair. If you need me, I'll just at the other end of the kitty phone. <laughs> the kitty phone. It's not exactly in keeping with the bat fern that would the ring and we would just pick it up and go, Yes, Commissioner! What would, what would Kitty do? I guess we're going to find out. I mean, can give you some coins to get you started. Oh, well, thank you, Kitty! Like that. Why can't I just use a mobile phone? I've got a contract. You know, seriously, I could just use that and all the links are included. Yeah, your avatar will be sent anonymously to other players' games as a secret shopper. Oh, I say! So, unfortunately, what I've just created is going to go into other people's games. Uh, and they're going to be, what, picking up King Bob or something? Oh, dear God. Don't worry. Nobody will see the name you enter here. We'll give you a fake one. <laughs> so, if King Bob wasn't fake enough, we're going to have a... Yes, they're going to see another one. Your avatar's dates will generate your personalised dating data. Oh, I say. You your dream My dream date. date. I can't wait for this. <laughs> <laughs> Allow my avatar to be updated online and send me information about. I might. Even... Yeah, I just. I may post an update after playing this game just to see exactly what the hell turns up. I I I, I have to see Check this. Your letterbox for feedback on how your virtual love life is going. Yes, as opposed to the real one, because I can't have a real one because I'm sad. And I'm indoors playing this customers. kind of crap. Where should we advertise first? Oh yes, some customers. Okay. Oh oh now, little mid Middlesbrough. Right. Okay. Okay. So, by the looks of things, I need to start advertising Kitty Powers's powers. I guess uh, we can look at the disco, the club, or comics. Well, seeing as I like geeky, I'm gonna go with the comic store. I would say that, wouldn't I? I'm going to go with edgy. I'm going to go completely wrong. Let's stick some posters up in the local alternative night. Though. Yeah! Let's get some edgy people in, even though I said I didn't like them earlier. OK, let's get you started with your first client. Oh, I say this is exciting! <laughs> uh, OK, so there's apparently a shop. This is the kitty shop. As you right, as we... You learn of upgrades, purchase here. So this... So the kitty shop effectively is the progression system. If there is such a thing in a matchmaker game... <laughs> Unlock new pages in my black book, OK? As oh, I say! As more customer types, you'll need more oh, pages... Oh, yeah, to I'd like to put in. everyone in my little black book. Ugh. <laughs> 
Oh, sex pest munch? Yeah. Oh, dear God. This is right. Apparently, we can. Hey, to have camp. Each restaurant comes to. Pa- hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back. What was that? Can happen at any day. Did they? Ju- did she just say pay to have cameras installed in all? The- Are we going to be stalking people? On the bright side, we do apparently have a lot of restaurants here, and it's cheaper to put cameras in the Australian and French restaurants than it is Spanish and oh, apparently Swedish restaurants are the most difficult to put cameras in. And Chuck, Ch- really? Righto. Uh, I have no idea what logic, logic they're using for this, but sure, <laughs> why not? Oh, and the salon, darlings. We've got to get ourselves looking fab. Any items yes. from this page, Tony? It allows you to prepare your oh, client for their day. By giving them a once-over so before they go. They go. Oh, you In the salon, you can change you. their appearance and even buy gifts for them to give to their lucky companion. <laughs> what am I saying? There are ten types of people, not to insinuate anything. <laughs> Some have... This is your lobby. New clients will arrive here looking, looking for, for love. love. Click your selected client and then take them to the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> Choose a client. Well, gee whiz, could it be just this one with the punky hair or, or this one with the punky hair? Okay. Okay, okay, so not we don't have voices for everything. Okay. <clears throat> what would Jordy do? Uh, Jordy? <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Jordy. I'm an urban explorer and I'm looking for a man. <laughs> but I don't know what, <laughs> what accent is that? <laughs> Jordy's over here now. Hi, and apparently she... She um, likes uh, pancake makeup. Pet snakes, head banging, and there's a little urban achiever. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. We, we were just we were just reading this. I'm interested in pancake makeup, pet snakes, and head banging. And I love blue eyes and ginger hair. <laughs> ginger? Uh, what? Sir, okay, this accent's going all over the place. Can you help me find me sword, mate? <laughs> yeah. They're a bit of an edgy type, aren't they? Uh, ye- uh, yes, yes they are, Kitty. Suitable I- candidates for your client are Martin oh, Martin, Pink little black book. Black book. Oh, I dare say they are. Just this once, I'll show you the best one. Click on them to scrutinise their intimate particulars. Oh, I want to scrutinise all their particulars. <laughs> Okay, apparently Paisley Tish is it's a little urban achiever as well. This is the hot seat where you compare your client's profile oh and potential God. candidates. Oh, okay. I pointed out it's clearly the best match. Choose, Choose them by, them pressing, by the pressing the date button. button. Okay, campers, this shit's about to get even more real than it already was. And... <laughs> it's... Oh my god! I've not heard that music in years! <laughs> oh dear. Okay. I, I, the thing is, I'm just tempted to leave this here. I, I just go, no, I'm not sure at all. I'd rather just listen to the, the cheese. Oh dear God. Okay, we can't. We 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 have to put Georgie and Paisley together. Geordie and Paisley together. Keep an eye on the restaurant you want to send them to. Oh look, That's we can take day. them to different restaurants now. Isn't it exciting? Shall we just? I tell you what, we're going to impress her. We're going to take her to the fish and chip shop. And don't take someone to the same place twice, because that's a dating faux pas. Hang on, is is one of these going to be Nando's? 
or maybe Burger King. I mean, I can stretch to maybe Byron Burger, but I'm not going to go beyond that. Ooh. Get ready to watch the envelopes. Oh, they're chucking them round! Oh! They make. Oh, right, well, okay. Hmm, I wonder which one I should pick. Maybe it would be this one that it's pointing at. Yay! The, the king's helmet! <laughs> the helmet. <laughs> King Bob's helmet. Oh, configuring naughtiness tangentials. They've arrived at the restaurant. I can't even read half of this. Them through the secret cameras I've had installed. Kitty, what are you doing? Are you are you basically taking tips from the NSA or GCHQ? Seriously, you should not be putting cameras into a fucking restaurant. That's all I'm saying. That's creepy shit. Okay, man, stroke, woman, I, I, I really have no idea, but for some reason, I want to move the mouse so it's just over the nose and just eek, 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 eek. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting uh, distracted. You need to guide them through their dates by making Oh, okay, by choose wisely. <laughs> choose wisely. Yeah, we go, fingers crossed. <laughs> Hello, are you Paisley? <laughs> Forget the accent, every, every, like, whatever it's meant to be, it will be. Let's see if we have to do Paisley's voice as well. Uh. <laughs> yes, I am. You must be, Georgie. You see, I can do that voice. Okay, Georgie is going to sound like... Uh, jo no, Georgie has got the incoherent accent. And uh, old Ian Paisley there is... Ian Paisley, dear God. Old Ian Paisley there is going to be, you know, sounding like... Uh, Jeff, the witch doctor from the Diablo uh, live streams. So we're going to go with that. Yes. <laughs> Please stop me. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Here we go again. This is the first time, woman. Slash man. Slash. Bloody hell's Actually, no, no. I'm getting distracted. Look at the fucking eyebrows on that. Jesus Christ. I, I, the thing is, I'm, I'm tempted to get a felt tip pen and colour them in properly. Anyway, so, to the date! This is a nice place, isn't it? Oi! <laughs> Why, I is quite popular, actually! Ooh, your eyes are a lovely shade of blue! <laughs> That, vo that voice is really not appropriate for George. <laughs> uh, thanks, that's very nice of you to say. Uh, I do love your light brown hair. I think so, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> it sounds like you know, Geordie's about to be constipated. Dear me. Uh, oh, hang on. Hello, good evening, good evening, Hi, we are. <laughs> and we are <laughs> turning into a fucking pirate! <laughs> okay. Mm. What were you like? Mm. I'd like something hot with fish. <laughs> also, I'm trying to avoid wheat. Ah, uh, I see. We're going to have to pay attention to these uh, things now. I bet you that's what happens. I hope you remembered what they said, because now you have to pick something they like. Why? The, okay, question. Can they not be asked to pick up a menu? I know, I know, I know, I know. Game mechanics, don't, don't bother. Well, on the bright side, if at you're least... you sure what the dish is, you can tip the waiter and ask them by pressing the question button. Ah, uh, but I... Just this once, I'll show you the correct option. Don't say I never did anything for you. No, Kitty, you do everything for me. Because I'm incontinent and therefore need constant attention, especially when it comes to my bell. But anyway, back to the romance. We're going to be selecting cod and mushroom sauce, which is moist. <laughs> yes, every 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 day it needs to have something moist in it. <clears throat> All right, back to what Geordie is about to say. Two portions of cod in mushroom sauce, please. No, it's it. The the accent's completely gone now. It's starting to 
turn into Jeff. <laughs> it's the chef's specialty. I, I, was that the waitress before? I don't know. I'm doing voices now. I, I, I didn't prepare for this. I'm going for acting. I can't work under these <laughs> conditions. Sounds delicious. <laughs> oh, it does, doesn't it? Oh, it's time to pull on the love handle. <laughs> I thought that was until afterwards, but hey, uh, apparently Kitty wants us to pull on the love handle, and God knows what this actually means. Pick a conversation topic you think they'll agree on. Oh, I see. You don't see one you like. You can spend, you can spend coins, coins on the using. Like. But be careful not to repeat. Mm. Okay, so. Occupation, occupation, or horoscope, okay? So basically, what you do for a living, like? Yeah. I'm actually an urban achiever. Well, I'm an urban achiever too, a coincidence, like? <laughs> Still a fucking terrible accent. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Hang on, whoa, whoa, what the fuck was that? There's the limps in this bloody pub. Dinner is served. Later that evening. <laughs> it's time to pull the love handle. Oh. <laughs> now, we're not supposed to choose occupation because we did that earlier. So given the fact the choice is horoscope and horoscope, which is inane. Today. So what do you think of horoscopes in, lad? I find them fascinating. I think they're fantastic. And they're going fucking hell. Jordy's now going to the West Country. I'm. So <laughs> 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 I'm Aries, what are you? Oh, I'm Sagittarius, what does that mean? <laughs> We're astrologically perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fantastic, like. <laughs> that's a bit of heavenly luck. Or you just rigged the game already because this is the first bit going through a tutorial, Kitty. Come on, tell the truth. <coughs> Pardon me, wouldn't you care to choose something from our trolley? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I shouldn't, but just this once won't hurt. Mm -hmm. Wonderful! I'll return with the trolley momentarily! Oh. <sighs> uh oh, Geordie's a bit pissed or having a stroke, I'm not entirely sure, but her, vo her lip has moved down and that is one of the first signs of suffering from a stroke, so we're not entirely sure. Or it could be just shock at the, we could be here all night at this rate. She wants to leave, she wants to fuck him! I, I mean, uh, get to know uh, Ian Paisley a lot more. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I meant, and not the other thing, because that's coarse. <laughs> yeah. Oh look, here they come! The waiter's about to bring out a load of tasty desserts. Pay close attention to the order they're in. Why? You'll have to remember them, as their date will be too busy salivating to remember their names. Why? Alright. Oh my god, it's the generation game! <laughs> You now have 20 seconds to... <laughs> Where was the cuddly toy on that? <laughs> what the hell? That first one looks nice. <laughs> well, of course, anything that you like. Uh, which one? Right, okay, suffering from a stroke again. But the first one was the fruit salad. Yes. <laughs> and there we go. A truly wonderful selection! <laughs> Delicious! I'm looking forward to digging into that! No you bloody didn't! You were suffering from a stroke while that damn thing was coming along! 
Anyway, I, I, I know, I, sp I should be saying the speech bubble. Bubble? I should be saying the speech bubble. My words are failing me, oh dear. And in a game like this, that's truly, truly terrible. I knew they liked that one, eh? Okay. No, that's Scottish. <laughs> Even later that evening. It's time to pull on the love handle again. Just pull on the Impazy's love handle. Come on, you know you want to. Oh, jackpot! Ten coins! And we want to talk about hair. So do you like me hairstyle like? <laughs> yes, it looks great. It really suits you. <laughs> well, thank you, Anglos. I'm so glad you like it. Now it's becoming Welsh. Okay, accent all over the place. I no, no, I'm just. Hmm. What do you think of my hair, then? <laughs> it's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> oh, I feel like a million dollars. Should we get the bill? <laughs> I'll call our waiter. <laughs> what did the waiter look like again? Oh, he was a wee lass, about yay big. <laughs> Uh, it was, yeah, it was... <laughs> it's a bit dodgy. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go with Babs. Babs apparently was our waitress. Yay! <coughs> Pardon me, here's your bill. Ooh, thanks very much. Well uh, spotted. I'd forgotten what they looked like, even though in a real restaurant it actually makes no difference because no matter what, when you request the bill, it's whoever's available to bring it. But obviously we're not going to write that on the screen because it would ruin the game. <laughs> <laughs> right, never forget a face! I suppose we should call it a night, dot dot dot. Looking at you, thinking should I, should I try for a quick fill? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a taxi rank outside. Oh. Outside? Oh, we... <gasps> oh, I really like them. Depending on how much your client likes their date. Oh, you, know, you have no free, free options. options. Oh, let's just be friends. Can I see you again? And will you go out with me? I think we're going to go for it. Mm. You want to get more serious, like? <laughs> yes, I think I'm in love with you. <laughs> Ooh, this is the best feeling ever. Oh. <laughs> 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 and immediately they go into a <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> I, I couldn't even... <laughs> 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 it was the noises as well! It was like... <laughs> Your reputation level has improved after that date. You will now attract more affluent clients. Oh, jolly good! <laughs> we earned money out of that, and we found someone who is who is apparently that's apparently how all first dates should end in a hot well tub. You're now officially a matchmaker. Yay, King Bob matchmaker! <laughs> and oh look here, we got a we got some mail. Click on your ID card to see your profile. In you can even compete yeah, with yeah, your yeah. friends. This is your letter box. Oh. Successful clients will send you a letter. It's a tell magic. you how the relationship panned out. Oh, here we go. Hello, hello, hello. Is it a letter from Kitty? I think it is. Hello, kittens. Greetings to all my veteran dating dynamos and welcome to all my new one and cross. As you know, matchmaking is not easy, but with my help, I make you, I'll make you an expert love doctor in no time. Dr. King Bob! Don't forget to follow me. No, it's a fucking. Ah, it's an advert. Right, skip the advert bit. 
You know I love you all of every Egyptian cotton fibre of my being and I would love and I would come round and give you big hugs individually if only I could be bothered to stop eating fond and fancies and get off my chaise long. Keep up the good work, kittens! Lots of love, kitty! X, 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 X. Ah! Bloody adverts! They got advertising in this damn thing! Okay, so that was the, uh, uh, that was the message. Uh, shop, we can afford a few things. We could even call Kitty now. And King Bob apparently has no achievements whatsoever. And that's probably a good thing. Uh, serial data. Go for the multiply, have 50 babies? Jesus Christ, well, hang on, what kind of achievements are in this thing? <laughs> Inappropriate touching! Poke characters of thousands? Hey oh! Ooh, tight one! Get through that sounds like my kind of date. Gay Pride! Have 50 same gender relationships. Uh, uh, uh right, okay, apparently we get uh, things for Schadenfreude fail every minigame in the funniest way. Oh, I think we have to do No! Friends with benefits, pair off free Steam friends. Good lord! Oh, abandonment issues! Get walked out on ten times! This sounds wonderful! And then ask a lot of things about menus, but meh! Apparently my reputation is now good. So let's play matchmaker again! And let's see if without Kitty Powers' help, we can successfully get someone on a ah. lovely date. And oh, we've got pretty much the same person in. Oh no! I'm Sh I'm Shana? I'm a J okay, <clears throat> what kind of voice should we do for Shana? Shania, 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 Shania. Shania. We're going with Sean. We're going with Sean Connery. Yeah, we're going with Sean Connery for the voice. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. Send all your hate mail in now. Hi, I'm Shania. I'm a janitor and I'm looking for a man. La 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 la. I'm a janitor and I'm looking for a man, even though I just said that just now. I'm well into bungee jumping, evil queendoms, and socializing. I don't even know what evil queendoms uh, means. Does anyone know what that actually means? <laughs> oh, and she lives from... I live for, Sorry, she... I, I, I don't know who I'm referring to right now. <laughs> and I live for grey eyes and dark brown hair. Can you find me my dream day, Mesh Money Penny? Hey. Oh, that's an edgy type of ever I've seen one. Even though pretty much looks like the same person as before, but with slightly different alterations. Whilst you're matching your first couple, I've refreshed the list of people in my oh, little black book. Oh, sh Kitty, you dog, you! Boring old candidates have been replaced. Oh, Don't absolutely worry. lovely. I won't get the candidates that you revealed personal details for. <laughs> Okay, so by the looks of things, we have two pages here. We have. Uh, right, by the looks of things, these are people that are shit. And these ones are probably the closest match. Now, Alex and the Flame. Right, hang on. Uh, me, me, uh, gray eyes, dark brown hair. That's. Right, so Alexander Flame thingy, that's no good. Dark brown hair, looks to be Brucey, Brucey baby here, who is also a cleaner! Yeah, so obviously they only have their job in common. Lorry driver, new, new, although the eyes do have it, the eyes do have it, yes, do it, the eyes, everyone say aye, aye. And Ingelberg Humperdinck is the secretary here. I'm actually going to go with Brucey baby here. And apparently likes one. Ooh, ooh, oh! It could be a bit of. It could be a bit of a thing here. Oh dear me! Oh, hang on. The okay. So the arrows basically go between the different people. So we can at least see some of their. Yeah. Okay. Right. This, this will. This will be fine. Right. So Bruce, I thought would have been the obvious one because of the looks. 
but apparently maybe not on everything else. Evil Queendoms... I don't know. <laughs> Daryl apparently likes gas masks, nuclear disarmament, and role-playing games. <laughs> well, to, I, I see, because that is always what you put on your dating profile. Uh, Ingelbert Tuckwell, uh, Vampire Blah Blahs, Wacky Colorheads, Halloween, and all these are unsuitable. Oh dear, even though they're socializing there. Right, so it really is a case. I think we're gonna take a chance, campers. We're gonna go with Brucey, baby! And we're sure. Come on down! The price is right! <laughs> Right, and we're going to try and not do the what's it. So we're going to try and go for either the US, the American restaurant, or the South uh, African? Is that? Or Jamaican? Is that Jamaican? The Jamaican flag? I think so. Fuck it, you know, I'm terrible. I, I don't pay much attention to world events, uh, although some of them are funnier than others when I do pay attention. Yeah. Okay, wait. okay, so between uh, the US and Jamaica, Let's see. That's the US, that's the US, that's the US. Okay! Route 69! Easy! And it's a fancy choice, is it? Doesn't sound like it. Sounds like an excellent position, though. Hey <laughs> Here we are. All this excitement. Squee. <laughs> Hiya, are you Bruce? Uh, okay, I am really glad about the voice of Bruce. Uh, you must be Sean, you must be uh, Sean Connery, huh? So fab to meet you. This place looks alright, doesn't it? Yes, it's had like rave reviews. I'm living for your dark brown hair. Tell her very much. Hmm. Oh, just wait until you're fishing it out of the plug. Oh, oh, you filthy bitch, kitty. Oh, yeah, me. <coughs> oh, and there's what the waitress looks like. And we're gonna. I, I can't really do anything else. Good evening. Can I? Can I take your order? I don't know. It says may I take your order, but I'm I'm going off script here. <laughs> yeah, trout. So, what's on your food radar? Oh. I think I want something hot with no meat. Ah, oh, vegetarian! Vegetarian! Right, so we can't uh, go with that. Corn on the hob, uh, french fries. I think we're gonna go with french fries or that. Maybe, should we spend some money? I think we need to spend oh. some money. That's it, vegetarian. I love true French fries, if you don't mind. That's my plan. <laughs> oh, wonderful choice! <laughs> Great, sounds lovely. <laughs> sure does. Delicia Rooney. Really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible, the Sean Connery voice. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to pull the, on that love handle again for the first time in this date. And we can talk about a lady dressed up. Oh, facial decor, that's what it is. Hairstyle or horoscope. We are gonna go with... Well, they've already remarked about the hair, so actually... Mm, I'm gonna go with facial decor. So... What do you reckon to my Phoenix makeup? <laughs> well, the thing is, I love it. It's amazing, isn't it? That voice actually goes very well with Brucey Baby here. <laughs> Thanks. I did it spare for you. <laughs> okay, the game actually knows I'm doing the Sean Connery accent now. It's even twisting the words on screen. Do you like me small sideburn or what? Advise your clients to tell the truth by pressing a green button. 
or lie. Oh, 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 now it's getting interesting. Oh, and, and the stroke face is back. The stroke face is indeed back. Should we tell the truth? Well, what? We're ne uh, this is the thing. On first date, surely we're never actually ourselves. We don't tell the truth about anything. We just, it's all lies, treachery, and deceit. So ultimately, we should lie. Yeah, we're gonna lie. It's that's what all first dates are because everyone uh, is their best self and doesn't actually pretend. And they pretend. And to be fair, she'll and probably end up changing him later anyway. Ho <laughs> ho! Controversial comment. <laughs> leave, leave your hate mail in the comment section below. Hello. I'm in the wheel of misfortune. Oh, hello! Now it's and now it's getting even more game showy. Get away with it. <laughs> okay. Spin the wheel of misfortune, which is probably in this entire game in a nutshell. Whee! And yes! They got away with it! Yeah! I'm G. Yes, you're like totally gorge. <laughs> Oh, I feel on top of the world now. <laughs> See, a good lie goes a long way. Dinner is served! Later that evening. <laughs> and the love handle again! Are we going to be telling more lies? Oh! This is... Oh! Horoscope weather or horoscope weather? You're really desperate on. I think we're actually going to spend some money here and just go with... Interests! Hmm. Anyways, I hear you're totally interested. Uh, ooh, uh, b -b 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 which one of these was it? Oh, now I'm having to remember! Good lord! So this game relies on you having a decent memory! Uh, well, I kind of figured that earlier, but I forgot. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with watching zombie movies. Watching zombie movies. Uh. Mm. Uh, I flipping love watch zombie movies. <laughs> wow, that sounds incredible. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, this this dialogue is actually more intelligible than what Adam Sandler had in The Ridiculous Six uh, on Netflix, so I, I'm gonna give it a pass. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it's well good, eh? So, what do you like doing? No, I'm falling back to... No, 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 I can't do that voice. I'm falling back into doing Jeff the Witch Doctor. Oh. Right. Oh. Stroke face is back. And shall I know tell the truth? I think, yeah, we're going to tell the truth. And I want to know what evil queendoms are. <laughs> I'm like totally into evil queendom. Yeah. Damn! That sounds wicked, huh? My god, does it? Yeah, yeah wicked. Oh. Got any... <laughs> got any ripping yarns to tell me? <laughs> oh yeah, this one's well good. Find a matching pair in the clouds for them to share a whimsical memory with their date. Oh, okay. Get three attempts to dig it out of their memory. So use them to narrow down the options. Okay. Right, okay. Make a pair. Right, okay, so we have to match up randomly. France for our holidays. Ah, <laughs> look at that! Uh, okay. <laughs> Ta-da! I am super well wicked at this. Hey, <laughs> marvel at my complete lack of skill. <laughs> right, so, back to Sean Connery. Once I even bungee jumped off the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> nice one, that sounds alright. Yeah, it was the winningest one ever. Good lord, the spell check needs to be used on some of this. Oh, 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 hang on. The... Even later that evening. Ooh. Love handle! Okay. Uh, lady with beard. Uh, we... 
facial decor we've already talked about interests we can't bring up again weather is such a shitty one but we're gonna go with it or do we, we I think we're gonna use the money again occupation showbrush how do you earn the wonga I'll be cleaning for me sins Oh, it's a true for dare time! Meh! I think, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm actually going to tell the truth this time because I like the word meh. Meh. Meh, meh, meh. 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 And no, I'm not brain damaged, but it sounds like it. Meh! We're going for meh! Mm. Not bad, I guess. Yeah, here's a job, so... What do you do then for a job, Sean, uh, you know, Sean Connery? Oh, uh, I think... <laughs> oh my god, shall I be honest? I think, yeah, we're gonna be honest things, we, we, we're truthful there. Actually, I'm a janitor slash super secret agent. Uh, something in it? Okay, so the job discussion was complete shite. It's okay, you know. Oh, here's your bill! Have you enjoyed your meal? I wonder what tip I should like to give. Let's give him 10%. Okay, uh, sorry, I, I forgot the whole voice thing then. It's time to break out those math skills. Or a 10% off. So that you can tip the complete amount. What's £2.84? You don't want to contradict what their date said. In my opinion, your client doesn't listen. Oh no, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What kind of restaurant is this? Two times French fries. £28.42? I'd turn the fuck right off. And look, there's a cheap button here if you don't have to. <laughs> okay. Now we're not rounding it up. No, because the two is closer to the zero. That's what I learned in school and things. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I mean, you're well <laughs> Yeah, I totally paid attention to math class. Mm. Well, I know. They aren't, aren't as stupid as they look. They aren't as stupid as they look. Yeah, okay. Oh, the workers wish for. Yeah, I'm done with that. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and Jenny-o! Right, so we had a. Mmm! Mmm! They're, they're quite a hottie, actually. There? There's only one of them, but I'm saying there. I'm gonna go with. Are you gonna go out with me? It is Valentine's special. It is the Valentine's Day special after all. We're gonna go for it. Ask them out right now, at the risk of appearing. Desperate. Yes, for the love of God. <laughs> sure. How about you and me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, you want me over with your charm, ain't ya? Mm. OMG, I can change my relationship status and everything. Uh. <laughs> and the, the hot tub is back! <laughs> uh. 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 What are those noises? Uh. Seriously? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Although, mind you, is this the other restaurant that they went to afterwards? Yeah. Oh, I wonder what restaurants in London would actually end up looking like this. Well, I guess we'll find out. So anyway, congratulations, they've become a couple. Sean Connery is like totally living. And we've got some extra wonga out of it, well spent. And King Bob turns into a bottom feeder, which admittedly raises questions in of itself. Back to me in the studio, Paul, because, well, I say back to me in the studio, I'm actually still sat in the front room, just uh, speaking into a microphone. Well, there you have it, campers. Kitty Powers Matchmaker. 
It's certainly a different video game, I will give you that. And, uh, yeah, I have never been surprised to see a hot tub uh, just appear out of nowhere before in my entire life. And probably never will again, knowing my luck. Um, I will, I'll tell you one thing, though. I will take, the, I will take Kitty Power's Matchmaker over that crap bird thing, Hateful Boyfriend, any day of the year. And if that's not a ringing endorsement, I don't know what is. I also never expected to say a sentence like that in my life, but, you know, we live in interesting times. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to play Kitty Powers yourself, go ahead. It's on Steam, £6.99 or your regional equivalent. You know, I... Make of it what you will. It's up to you. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. Seven quid well worth spent, uh, unfortunately, as far as I can see. Thank you all very much for watching the Gaming Love Crash. I hope you enjoyed this year's uh, Valentine's Day festivity type video. And if you did, uh, by all means, you know, all the stuff on, under the YouTube video. you got the likes, dislikes, and, you know, probably, you know, say crap about my mum in the comments section or whatever. You know, whatever appropriate trolling or trolling, I should say, is appropriate on YouTube and the internet in general. Now... I hope you all have a fantastic Valentine's Day, no matter what you're doing, no matter who you're with. And even if you are married, with kids and so forth, don't worry. There is an alternative for you. I'm looking for someone other than my wife. Other than my wife. Ashley Madison's right. I'm looking for someone other than my wife. Other than my wife, as she medicines right. I'm looking for someone other than my wife. Other than my wife, as she medicines right. I Seriously, I bet this is how newsreaders do it, you know.